we promised you last week that we were going to have the top five events of 2011. That's true. We're heading into our holiday uh, break. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is our last half day. Yes. Um, in which we take the staff out to lunch. Yes. A tradition that was set up by our founder. Yes. That uh, I'm fortunate enough to carry on. So yeah. we thought... Because uh, we really need that recharging of batteries. And oh, you know, yeah. don't be afraid to recharge your batteries if you're in the helping profession. Yeah. Um, this is one week out of the year that the families gather around so we're not as needed as one would think we would be. So we do recharge our batteries mm -hmm. over um, the Christmas into New Year's holiday. So we won't see you until we get back from New Year's. So we thought we'd celebrate, you know, uh, 2011 by counting down our top five favorite um, things from 2011. Yeah. yeah. And that was a hard, was it hard for you to put your list together? Um, yeah, it was. It was for me too. There was yeah. a lot. There was a lot. And yet there were things that it's like, was that worthy of being top five? <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so that, that was my challenge was how worthy were they all? So I guess my first question to you is, what was your fifth ranked well, in 2011? Well, yeah, when I looked at priority of, of all of the things, I think the fifth one was the fact that we ran our very first ever summer program. Mm -hmm. um, we've never done that because every time I've ever tried to run a summer program, people have had too many vacations and they just, they just don't have the time to commit to the eight weeks. But this year it was completely different and it was so fun and the families were so wonderful and uh, I'm looking forward to doing it again. It was a neat, yeah, neat change. Yeah, really a, which, a which started us into year-round programming. Absolutely, which so, you always so that, said you wanted to do, yeah. but I didn't think it would fly, so yeah. So that was a great accomplishment. Yeah. My yeah. number five was was this, was Oh By The Way. Yeah, that's um, a good number five. It was a, it was a random, like, one morning we said, hey, let's start the show. We have the, why not do it? Well, it's funny because I just today got a... a, a an email through LinkedIn which is kind of like yeah. Facebook's for professionals and it was from someone from England and she wanted to know all about us and I told her about oh by the way I said check out oh by the way on Facebook mm -hmm. if you can because that'll tell you a lot about us in mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. know it's kind of weekly updates so, so yeah, I love my, oh by the way that was number five yeah number four number four for me was our trip to Boston first of all that city I, I just fell in love with that city and if I didn't live here I would want to live there um, but we had a wonderful time. We introduced the confessional, um, which is very unusual to go to a conference and be able to share something that is so innovative and new. Um, that you're you, the only one doing it. You're the only one doing it. And, and there's you know, 400 professionals who share a lot of wisdom, but sometimes you just kind of say the same thing in a different way or play the same game in a different way. This was so fun because we were actually introducing a concept that was so foreign and yet so profound, so yeah. that was a great time. My number four was actually this year at the uh, ninth annual Living Gala, we had a silent uh, or live auction in which the last three items of our live auction were Olivia's house items. Right. So things that the, the, the bidders could buy um, that were associated with Olivia's house. Right. So it was like a rocking chair and there was a brick and then they could sponsor a family through a program. Um, and things like that. And uh, I remember while the auctioneer was going there, they sold so high. They did. Everyone and, was so excited to yeah, get all that and stuff. And it was so special that yeah. that audience was there and they knew that this was a way to support the mission. Right. Um, and I remember, you know, just John and, and Reed and those folks just continuing to say, yeah, I'll bid on that. And uh, that was a special moment. So it, it, it's I'll, so I'll, fun when you see people getting excited about their spending money to support the mission. Yeah, that they weren't getting awesome. anything in return. No, for it. They nothing. weren't going on a trip because of it. They weren't yeah. getting to go get a piece of art as a result yeah. of it. They weren't getting anything, but they were so they still were thrilled about it. So, so that was a special moment. Very special. Yeah. Number three. Number Actually, three. what I think is funny yeah. is that yours and I's list, which we prepared independently yes, from each we other, did. I, we I did. put that we disclaimer, did. but our one, two, three was actually the same. Yeah, I know. I, I think that's very telling. So is that because we're mother son? I don't know. You know, you do think a lot like me. You did raise me to think a lot like you. I did. Yeah. Okay. Number three <laughs> was one of my favorite accomplishments of the year, um, which was the paying off of our mortgage. Me too. That's what I thought was really cool. Yeah. Olivia's house was was blessed to be able to pay off our mortgage, um, yeah. thanks in part to two um, really incredible, uh, angels. incredible angels. We've always had our mortgage angel network, and we're yes. forever grateful to yes. everyone who's ever been a mortgage angel. But, um, Which means you paid one month's mortgage payment right, every right. year. 
but we had a, a, an anonymous family donate um, to us, and then we had another anonymous family come in and say, well, we'll make the rest of it happen. And they yeah. said, what will you do if we pay off your mortgage? And we said, we'll party. Yeah. And they said, we'll get started. Yeah. And I remember that day, and I think I'll remember it for the rest of my life. I think I will, too. I think the thing that I'll remember even more so than that day and in that moment, like, really? <laughs> was the morning after. Yeah. When I was unlocking, because every morning, morning I yeah. open up Olivia's house, and I remember yeah. walking through the hallways thinking, yeah. This is now ours. We own it. We own it. We own it. I, I, I think it's so funny because the person who paid this mortgage down uh, off and made, made us, you know, permanently here at Olivia's house, um, 830 South George will forever be ours. He said, I won't forever be here, but I want this to forever be here. And I thought that was huge. And uh, this family is just near and dear to us. And I... Again, I can't wrap my head around it. And in the moment, didn't you think it was funny? Like, I didn't cry. <laughs> I always dreamed of the day we'd burn the mortgage and I would just cry and be a mess. I didn't cry because I was in such shock. Yeah. That a, that a person would write a check for that kind of money to make sure this was here permanently. Just blows it, my mind. It, uh, and that's just number three. <laughs> that, that, that day reaffirmed my faith in, in, Me too. in mankind yeah. in many ways. Yeah. And yet, you're right. Number three. Was, so, yeah. so, what... Could possibly beat the mortgage burn down, right? There, Leslie. Right. What right. is the number two? Well, number two, I felt again goes back to kind of Boston, is the confessional. The confessional. I, I just think that you were onto something so incredibly, you know, innovative and cutting edge. And you know, the grief center in a way was cutting edge when I came to York and sure. said, "Let's do this, York. How about doing this?" And they all said, "That's cool. Yeah." And a lot of people in the last 10 years have said to me, how did you ever think of that? How did you ever think of that? So, you know, I understand it to a small degree, but this room, the confessional itself, the concept that the children have continued to create and create and create, um, is just, I don't know, I don't, there aren't words really for it, Casey. I think that it continues to yeah. amaze me. Yeah. Um, and it continues to evolve into something we never planned. Right. And I think that that's the, the greatness behind it. I also rank it so far up there on the list, and, and uh, you know, I question: is that more? Is it better than the, than the mortgage payoff, or was it grander? And you know, it's very very hard to say. But the reason why, in my my mind, it was was the spirit that went into it. Yeah. With you know Ramon Trevino putting his mm -hmm. his art on the wall, but Monica and Chandler and Randy coming in, and yeah. you know, putting Ryan's legacy into it, and mm -hmm. Tom coming in and giving his. Mm -hmm you know, technical expertise. And Chandler Lawrence yeah. will forever be in my heart mm -hmm. for her work in the confessional. Absolutely. Yeah. And then with Ashley Feldman coming yes, in from the real and holding world. the focus group How and awesome doing the, you know, the, yeah. the video filming. Oh my and, goodness, yes. So yeah. I think um, so many creative hearts and energies went into yeah, this room right. that it was so... It, you can't not sit in here and feel yeah. the love. Yeah, it is. It's so, just an incredible place. Yeah. Uh, Chandler is always, and Monica are always so, you know, here. Yes, but, they're but here so in is, spirit. So is Ryan. Yeah, and, Ryan. And, uh, I, I never knew Ryan. I never met Ryan. But, man, do, do I feel Ryan daily mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. in his legacy. So, yeah. I, that's why number yeah. two for me. Yeah. And yet, that's only number two. That's number two. So, to, to round out into number one. Da, 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 da. Ta -ta. Number one. Our new staff. Our new staff. Oh, we have the most incredible staff. For years... We've we, always had great staff. We've always had great staff, but really for years have. at Olivia's house, we've always handled mm -hmm. and, and made do and yeah. worked very, you know, for, for a period of time as you and I. Mm -hmm. um, and, and people come and people go in, in your times for, for a reason and a season. Yeah, God but, brings them in the door and he takes them out of the door for mm -hmm. lots of different reasons. But right. I like that we have a, a brand new model yeah. And and a brand new staff, folks that, you know, you know, a production coordinator yeah. and, and, and yeah. um, you know, just a, a program coordinator and, and what one my right hand. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Our program coordinator, Michelle, is just um I, I couldn't do it anymore by myself. I I just couldn't and just really filled my the gap for me. And just the oh. and the experience that Jim brings as a development oh my director. Goodness. I mean Absolutely. He runs circles around me and I, and I'm yeah. thrilled by yeah. that. We're but, so fortunate to yeah. have such intelligent professional people in the city of York to draw from um, when our needs uh, arise and when our board says, 
spend the money, hire the people because the children benefit. Mm -hmm. That that again, the board is so mm -hmm. wonderful and so supportive. And I think all all three of those new staff members, Brett, Michelle, and, and Jim, um, have brought such an energy. Yeah. Um, not only to you and I, mm -hmm. but to this mission, mm -hmm. and you can tell that their heart is mm -hmm. is so into what they do. It is. It's true. So. And isn't it funny that they can work with the two of us? That's a hard task. <laughs> It's a hard It's feat. like the three stooges times ten. But well, there's only two of us, so something's wrong with the two stooges. But truly, it's such a gift to um, to have somebody who truly is okay with a mother son combo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that being said, for 2011, I'll always be the curly to your mouth. <laughs> And I gotta tell you, it's been such a joy to work with you. Well, thank you. And I'm so proud of you, and I'm proud of all the innovations that you bring in the door with your expertise and um, and how you lead our team. And I couldn't ask for somebody to do what you do. I, I you know, again, without words, and thank you so much for that. Well, and like I've said it before, but I'll say it publicly, is that you are the energy of this mission, mm -hmm. and you are the backbone of everything we are, and. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love spending every day here working with, working with you, Me but too. because I can see the miracles that you bring to other people's lives. Well, There's a way you. that you work with those grieving families that no one else can. So well, for, that, that. for that, we are all thankful. Yeah. So. so have a wonderfully gentle holiday and have a wonderful new year. And we will see you in 2012. 2012. Have a good one, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.